one, I know that we haven't posted a video or a vlog since we had our ultrasound and that's just because we had some, our ultrasound didn't go as expected. And so we kind of, I've been, I was really emotional and hormonal the past few days and we just decided to take a few days to process and take a breather. I barely even looked at my phone and it felt really good and it was really much needed. But now I'm ready to sit down and post this video for you. And I know that a ton of you have been asking how it went and everything and, you know, how everything's going. And so that's what I'm going to do today. And I just want to say before we get any further, I don't want anyone to worry too much. It's not... We did not lose the baby, we just have the potential to. But I'll get into that. Um, we have, the, I'm just going to do a story time of this because we didn't get a ton of footage. We, this is the fertility clinic that we went to. We aren't, we haven't been discharged to the OB yet, the regular OB, because we are fertility patients. They always just see them. Probably every time that we get pregnant, that'll happen but this was at the fertility clinic and last time when we got our ultrasound of Addie at seven weeks we were allowed to film and you know we got pictures and everything like that and then a few months ago when I went in and had my ovaries we had an ultrasound on my ovaries and everything we were allowed to film we didn't get pictures but I didn't really want pictures of my ovaries and so this time when we went in we asked if we could film and they said that they have new policies where you can't film but you can take still pictures. You can take pictures of the screen and we were like, why would we do that if we're going to be getting, you know, printed out pictures at the end, like actual ultrasound pictures. And so we didn't really do that. Brandon snuck a few times a video pretending that he was taking a still picture. But then at the end, they didn't print out any pictures and I didn't really remember because at that point from what had happened in the ultrasound and everything, I was just so emotional and hormonal that I didn't even think about it and I was just kind of ready to get out of there. And then later on when I realized it, Brandon, we called, they said that they have new machines and that they don't have the capability to print any ultrasounds, which I think is absolutely ridiculous that you just don't get pictures of your baby. And... They only have that on the 20 week, 20 week anatomy scan ultrasound. And so that just like sent me over the edge. I was so emotional and, but it ended up being okay because at the end of the day, one of the doctors called and said, I hear that you were really emotional that you didn't get any pictures. And I said, yeah, I mean, I wasn't trying to make anyone feel bad. It's not their fault, but you know, I was just emotional on the phone. So I'm sure that, that it traveled, that word traveled. And so the doctor actually, called me and said you know i downloaded the images off the machine and i can send them to you on email and that was so so nice of him and he wasn't even my doctor he was one of the ob's in the regular part of the clinic and so i actually might end up going to him for my ob care because i just thought that that was so amazing and kind and just like thoughtful but anyway so i do have a few pictures but any that's why we don't have very much footage is because they have new policies and I don't I, I'm not even gonna get into it I just think that some of their policies are ridiculous but anyways especially no pictures anyways I'm not gonna get into that too much but that's why this is going to be more of a story time video because I don't have a lot of footage I'll just go ahead and get started so I have I was really nervous and really excited to go into my ultrasound and we went in and it was a transvaginal ultrasound because it's still too early and I was seven weeks five days according to their calculations because they calculate from when you start spotting they count that as the first day of your period so according to them I was seven weeks and five days and so she kept when she you know started the ultrasound she said there's your baby that's definitely not twins there's just one and it looks good and then she started measuring everything because they measure to see how big they are, see how far along they're measuring. And actually Addie, when we got our first, our first ultrasound of her, she was measuring ahead by a few days. And so, um, yeah, they were just measuring and she kept going over it and going over it a bunch of different ways, like every way that she could. 
and she said you're supposed to be seven weeks five days but the baby is measuring at only seven weeks and she didn't say much she just said that and she kept going over it and going over it making sure she said your baby is only measuring at seven weeks but she said i'm gonna look for the heartbeat now and she did find the heartbeat and we got to listen to it and see it a little beaten away and it was at 144 which is good and so that was that she didn't really say much um she just turned off on the lights and said you know put your clothes back on and everything and so and then she came in and talked to us and then she talked to us a little bit more about you know how the baby was measuring five days behind and it should have been measuring at seven weeks five days and she said you know she asked do i know when i ovulated was i taking ovulation tests and i said yes i do so i told her the day that i ovulated and it was actually like almost exactly in the middle of the month so sometimes you know when people when women don't know when they ovulated they're not taking ovulation tests or sometimes when they ovulate later in the month then they can be a little bit further behind than what your last menstrual period would show but since i knew exactly when i ovulated and i could tell her i should have been measuring at the seven weeks five days or a little bit closer to that but she didn't really say much she just said that she wanted a follow-up ultrasound in a week to make sure that the baby was still growing and that it wasn't growing too slow like that it was growing at the rate that it should be so we have another ultrasound on friday and by that point i should be eight weeks one day and that's where i should be measuring i actually should be closer to nine weeks but with where i was measuring at the last ultrasound i should be at least eight weeks one day and so they're going to be measuring that and making sure that the baby didn't stop growing at seven weeks and that it's growing at the right rate. So that is potentially scary. You know, she didn't say to worry or anything like that. Just that, you know, we would take it as it came and we would reevaluate and go from the next ultrasound. So I don't know. I know that it totally could be that something's miscalculated or that the baby or that I didn't ovulate until a little bit later. You know, there there's other options. It's just kind of scary and when you are pregnant and you can't control your hormones or your emotions like I have just been my hormones and my emotions have just been going crazy. I've been crying all the time. Sometimes I don't even know why. It I just, I don't want to worry until I know that there's something to worry about, but it's just, I mean, you can't tell a pregnant brain, especially as someone with anxiety, you can't tell someone that it's just too hard. It's, I can't control it. And so it's just been kind of a rough few days. I'll be fine. And then I'll like start thinking too hard and it's just been kind of rough and it's probably going to be a rough week until we get the ultrasound and we know that everything's fine. Or, you know, something might not be fine and we could potentially lose the baby if it's not growing anymore. So there's always that option. But we are trying to stay hopeful, at least when my hormones aren't going crazy and my crazy pregnant brain isn't going crazy. I'm trying to stay hopeful, but it's just kind of scary. So, yeah. Anyways... That's going to be it for this video. I will put the footage and all of the pictures of the baby at the end and we will keep you updated. And this I'm filming on Sunday and I'm hoping to get it up on Sunday. So there might not be a vlog tomorrow because I'm not sure. I don't think that I'm going to film today. That is going to be it for this video and we will see you in our next one. Please keep us in your thoughts and i hope that you all can be patient with us especially through this next week i'm not sure how much i'm going to want to vlog but we will see you all in our next video